You cannot have a healthy planet without a healthy ocean. Our oceans are at the heart of the blue economy, a powerful force representing sustainable use of ocean resources for economic growth while ensuring the health of the ocean ecosystem. It's more than just numbers. It's a whopping $1.5 trillion market globally, offering over 30 million jobs and feeding billions. But did you know the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development predicts the ocean economy could even double to $3 trillion by 2030? The global community recognizes this potential with Sustainable Development Goal 14, dedicated to conserving our oceans. However, with only 7.5% of oceans under protection, there's much more to be done. In 2023, a milestone was achieved with the UN's High Seas Treaty. This treaty plans to protect 30% of the world's oceans and sets new standards for deep-sea mining and marine conservation. Now, the oceans aren't just about marine life. They have a massive role in climate regulation. Studies show the blue economy could contribute to a fifth of the emission reductions required to hit the Paris Agreement targets. With sustainable food production from the oceans, we could also relieve some pressures on our land food systems. India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi unveiled an ambitious plan named Amrit Kal. Investing $20 trillion rupees by 2047, India aims to supercharge its marine sector. The strategy includes making ports carbon neutral, boosting hydrogen production and enhancing port capacities. This move, coupled with the proposed India Middle East Europe Economic Corridor, signifies India's intent to reshape global trade while ensuring sustainability.